What's up, it's Nazin, hey friendos, welcome back to Spirit Fair. Last episode we did a ton of upgrades on our ship and now we need to focus on getting more passengers because we need more buildies. And as you can see over here, we actually rearranged our ship. It's a lot better looking now, look at that. A perfect use of space. Well, most of the space. Anyway, let's check our errands or requests. Local union, give Adel some pork chops. I did cook some pork chops before we started. One sheep, two sheep, we can't do that until we have maybe a triple jump or the ability to float. Something to write home about, we need to head over to Bottom Lion Corp. And then maybe we might find a new passenger. And the diffracted cabinet, we need to go find a bunch of stones. And yeah, we absolutely did sell the citrine last episode, so that was our bad. God damn it. Anyway, we did say that we were gonna explore the lighthouse area this time, so let's go. Off and away we go. Right. Hello, hello, Theodore. Hi, Gwen. What's over here? Let's go check out the lighthouse. Oh, hello. I like getting some sun here. It's peaceful. Sometimes it isn't, though. Especially when people love to jump on this umbrella. They jump up and down. Up and down. They love to bounce on the thing. It drives me out of my skin. Nothing else I can do but complain, I suppose. Umbrella. Oh, we could jump up and down like that. Okay, stop that. What are you doing? You're ruining this very pleasant day. Stop that bouncing right this instant. You just can't come here and bounce like some overexcited youth. You're stressing me out. You need to calm down. Here's some free advice, though. You'll never be able to get up there. I've seen people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want to, you'll need two things. First up, a good attitude. That applies to just, you know, life in general. Everything is in attitude. Then you need to visualize bouncing even higher. Or, I don't know, learn a new skill. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know that you can't get up there without a combination of things. A calm and cool attitude and more leg power. Now stop it. I'm just a simple person who doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. We'll show you what's what! Okay, so maybe we can't get up there. And oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? These places are locked off until we get, I don't know, new abilities? We need to go get a new passenger so we can get more O-Balls, and then we need to find a shrine to get new abilities from. Where do we go? Where do we go? Let's head over to Bottom Line Corp. Fuck it! Where is Bottom Line Corp? Over here? Rezutano Meadows, Bottom Line Corp should be over here. Aha! Okay. Let's stop by the meadows first and then head on over. Ooh, Gwen! You wanna talk to us? Stella! Look, Stella, I... I'm sorry, I just think I need some space. Just a bit of time to myself. I knew going back to the villa was a bad idea. Sorry, this doesn't have to do anything with you. You've been nothing but great to me since you found me on that island. Mm. I just need, you know, some time to be alone for a while. Wait, you're the one that called us over! What the fuck, Gwen? What the hell? Hi, you want food? We'll feed you raspberries. There you go, you were quite hungry. Here's a hug for summer! There we go. And Uncle Adel will give you some food. Popcorn, your favorite. You love food. And then we'll give you a big hug. We're halfway there. Let's check on what we're cooking. Up over here. Now what did I put in here? Aha! We have grain salad. I think I put in corn and then a couple berries. Okay. Let's put in lettuce and then mushrooms. Sure. There we go. Okie dokie. Looks like we're all good and Gucci. Oh yeah, friendos! By the way, I made a sheep corral, and then I caught one of these guys. It looks like we can't shear them though. We might need to upgrade our Everlight first. And we're at Rezutano Meadows. Cool. Very cool, Mr. Video Game. Let's see what's on this island. Down we go, I see a couple oak trees. 
Stocking up an oak is always a good idea. Now what do we have here, and when can we get over to that gigantic mountain? Ah, look, trees. Trees we could cut down. Ah, we're about to get a saw 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 in. Do oak trees look like these? I've been kind of confused because they look like cherry blossom trees. Unless cherry blossom trees are also oak trees. The more you know. Hi, hello. What's this big rock? I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says that they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. Oh, brother. Why are you guys here? Oh, wow. I've heard of this rock from a friend. He said that if you stand next to it for a week, you can become a seagull or something. It will help you find your spirit animal. Uh-huh. When the others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. A bunch of weirdos, okie dokie. Carrying on. We found some more trees. Nice too. Ah, yes. The ambiance. The background music. It's oh so calming. I like this part of the map. And not just because I'm a weeb. Now, what do we have over here? We have mushrooms and then the end of the pier. That it. I think that's it. Okay, it's just a place to stock up on... Oak trees. Kinda had a brain fart right there. But still, I wonder, how do we get to that giant mountain in the distance? Unless... Unless, 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 that's the mountain where the mines were? I'm so confused. Anyway, let's head back to the ship, go teleport on over, and then head towards Bottom Line Corp. Here we go! Ah! Let's see what it revealed. Nothing! Nice to... Right, let's head over to Alex the Seal. And then... Hmm, maybe we could just water these along the way. It looks like Uncle Adel has a surprise. One of his regular berry surprises. Uh, what surprise do you have? Nothing? You have nothing? Oh yeah, we have pork chop to give you. We forgot. We almost forgot. Where's the pork chop? Pork chop! What? Pork chops? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited. They look so damn tasty. And they are. Sprout your miracle, you know that. Oh, this is just so good! Ha! Huh, now I just feel a bit guilty! And I'm sorry you're running all of these culinary errands for me! Look, there is this kid at work! Craig! We used to have these long and tight union negotiations! All-nighters! Everyone would be at a standstill! Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed! I would send Craig on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me! I would ask for these impossible gets! Saffron, sumac, and even anise! It was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone. On both sides of the table. To calm heads and to appease stomachs, I suppose. The first part didn't always work out, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. I would joke with him that he would have to break in people's houses to get this stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Oh, okay. Now we teleport on over. We helped out Uncle Adel with his errand. And now we will magically teleport all the way to the other side of the map. There we go. Thanks, Alex. Right. Now let's head over to Bottom Line Corp. We should be there by nighttime. Bottom line corp. There we go. Now. Let's just water these cabbages and leeks. There we go. There we go. And pull you out. There we go. Okay. Let's plant some more stuff. Put in some more lettuce. Not cabbages. Lettuce. 
What's the difference between cabbages and lettuce, by the way? I always thought they were the same thing. Huh. Let's see what we made. We have... Oh! Mushroom salad. Okay. Let's mix coffee beans and we can't mix that with anything. Okay. Mussels, we'll mix that with lettuce. There we go. What else do we have? We're not really in a dire need of ingots right now, but I guess we have some time until we get there. You never know what we might need. Let's check our blueprints. Improve. Can we improve anything? We could improve using two leeks. We're planting the leeks right now. Uh-huh. We have that. We need oak plank and aluminium. Where do we get aluminium? We need bottled ectoplasm. Where do we get that? Okie dokie. Sure. We fully upgraded that. It's raining. Fully upgraded Gwen's house. Okay. What about the guest's house? We still need fire glow so they could have hanging lights. Fancy. And that should be it. Can we upgrade our sheep station? No? Okay. What about build? Can we build anything else? The windmill, we need aluminium, marble, don't know where to get that. Nebula thread, still don't know how to catch those bugs. Copper ingot plank, we have a sheep corral already. And then for the field, yeah, okay. So we need to figure out how to make a windmill and an orchard. We need it to make flowers. Okie dokie. And it looks like we're here. Aha! Bottom line corp. It looks like an artificial island. A barge? Oh! Hello, hello! I wonder who we'll find here. What kind of passenger would be calling for a revolt? Down with a man! Are we gonna be part of a revolt? Hmm. This is why workers should unionize. Oh! Uh, Theodore, the fuck are you doing here? Hi? Do we need to sell anything to you? We don't really need to. Do you have anything though? Wait, we can't buy? What the fuck? Okay. Oh, whoa. Hi, hello there. What's happening here? The time has come, my friends. Let's trample the thorns of inequality. Let's burn the tangling ropes of low-wage employment. Let's tear down the golden walls of the upper class. Your conditions here have been appalling. It's time for you to revolt. Mm -hmm. Let's show this capitalist pig that it's your work that creates wealth and value. Your work that makes him profit. And he is the one living off your backs. Yeah, let's break his knees, break his knees, never surrender. Do not despair, my friends. Today we could reverse the unjust stream of enrichment. Together we could finally give the power back to the working class. Mm -hmm. Power you deserve and wealth you should benefit from. Time to claim what is rightfully yours, my friends. Yeah, an extra 10 minutes lunch break. <laughs> okay, sure, new request, unite. Oh, mm -hmm. hello there. You've come to join our protest, yes? Uh, well, sure. Mm -hmm. Good, come on in. I even have a little something to ask you since you've just arrived. You'll find up there the CEO of this company. He's fled to his office and won't come out. Mm -hmm. Coward! See if you can convince him to face his employees and have an honest dialogue with them. We won't budge until conditions have improved. Uh, okay, I guess we're part of this now. How do we get in? Uncle Adel, why are you here? Uh, okay, you're just hanging out. Cool. Do we enter in here? It's locked. Okie dokie. What's over here? Nothing. We could climb up here. Wait a minute. Can we bounce? Oh, we could bounce. Hold up. Can we not go up there without like a triple jump? Oh my god. Please tell me that we could actually progress somewhere. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We need to get over to the CEO. He be hiding. Uh, hi. Dude, I can't wait for our next game. My friend Buck has been preparing a new game for us. I'm sure he'll tell us soon. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, almost fell. Up we go. Up. No, that's not up. This is up. Up. Uh, wait a minute. 
Is that cool? I think it's cool. Hold up. There we go. Wait. Oh, that is cool. It looked weird because it was yellow. Go away. What do you want? Get away from here. I have done nothing wrong. I'm the one being threatened. As if three fewer days of vacation a year was a big problem for them. I mean, they should have thought twice before starting a family, right? I'm not responsible for their poor life choices, nor for their lack of higher qualifications. And they should be happy I've not delocalized the production. What will I have to do next? Pay them medical insurance too? Why would I pay them if they don't work? It doesn't even make a difference if they have a broken arm or a whooping cough. They still don't work when they're not here. Uh-huh, you don't want to come out. That's locked. Please. I can't budge. Okay, you're just hiding in there. How do we get you out? We have wonton soup and an old painting. Okay. Um, guys, he doesn't want to come out. We won't move. Not without having negotiated. Wait a minute, come on, wait. Talk to the terrible CEO again. But he's a bastard. He sucks. He's selfish. What do you want? They just want to negotiate, you say? Look, it's getting hot in here. And I'm getting hungry too. Okay, you can tell them I'll reverse the decision on the vacation. I'll wait for you here. Yeah, that works. You're hungry, you want to go home, and they just want, you know, three more days of vacation. Mm -hmm. Nope, not enough. Plus 20% increase in wages and full compensation for medical expenses. As well as another week of vacation and 5% on capital gains. Oh my god, you guys are so annoying. I just want to kidnap the passenger so we could get a no-ball. So, what did she say? But, but... Damn, I've really got to pee. Okay, okay. Whatever they want. Tell them they're getting whatever they want. But they have to stop calling me Mr. Moneybags, got it? Okay, go now. I have to find the key to the door. Right. We did it. You're getting everything you want. Is that it? What did he say? Mm -hmm. He agreed to everything we said. Wonderful. You're one hell of a negotiator, Munchkin. I like you already. Look, my work is done here thanks to you. I probably could also embark with you on this fancy boat of yours. I can't wait to rest my old bones in a cozy home and have you by my side, Munchkin. See you there. Well, okay then. That's back to work for everyone. Can we enter though? No, it's locked. Okay, we picked up our next passenger. Let's see how they reveal themselves to us. What kind of animal will they be? Hi. Now, let's see what you are. I think you might be a big old kitty cat or a lion. What else are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Took you long enough? Oh! Oh! We were right, you are a big kitty cat! You are... a lion thingy! Woof! Wait, what? That felt funny! You think I would have seen everything at my age? Not sure I liked it though, but it sure beats being an impersonal hooded blob! Those capes are really scratchy! Ah! It feels good to breathe in the fresh air! Time for me to stretch my legs for a bit. Hmm, I am hungry as well. You know what? Would you be a dear and fix me a little meal? That would be marvelous. Thank you, Munchkin. Oh, you can leave me now. Feed your elders. Okie dokie then. We'll feed you whatever we just got. We have... Aha! Shellfish stew. You want this? Mm -hmm. Why are you holding out on me, Munchkin? I might be old, but I still have a stomach. We'll feed you. Here you go. Have some stew. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Well, 
it's a bit overcooked, isn't it? And kind of bland. Mm -hmm. Bah, never mind. That will do. Thank you, Munchkin. You're a sweetheart. I've been out of the loop on that island. You tend to lose track when you fight for workers' rights. Mm -hmm. We should catch up on the latest gossips, don't you think? Oh, but don't get me wrong, I really don't like gossip. But we need to stay informed, in case important things happen. And I know just the right person. An old friend of mine has been roaming the seas. She could probably tell us what's been going on. Are you game for a little adventure? Well, it's not like you have a choice. She should be around. She's gained a bit of weight recently, so don't tell her that. She's been making a scene whenever someone mentions her appearance. Mm -hmm. Let's go meet her. Hurry up now. Three sisters. Okie dokie. Can we give you a hug? Here, have a hug. There we go. Good. I needed that. Right. Now, what do we need to do? Three sisters. Ah, her name is Astrid. Find Astrid's seabound friend. Okie dokie. Where should she be? Also, we probably need to build her a house. Okay, let's see what we could build. A house for Astrid? No. I think we can only build a house if she's asking for one. After a day of sleeping in the guest house, she's definitely gonna ask for one. Now, where's the friend? Oh, wait! I see her! It's a big turtle! Olga! Oh, this is so exciting, and also, we're about to go into a storm. Wait a minute, Uncle Adel. Are you hungry again? I'm so hungry! I know I've been asking for a lot lately, but I've got a big appetite. It goes well with my love for food. But you know what I could go for? A bucket of fried chicken! Wait, we don't have any chicken on the boat. What? We don't have chicken on the boat, Uncle Adel! Quick! A lightning storm! Don't be scared. Wanna catch as many bolts as you can? Yeah, sure. That's the spirit! Just stand below each hit! Fishing trip! Now, where's the lightning dropping? Where could it be? Aha, it's up there! There we go! Gotta chase after the lightning! Whoa! Daffodil, are you okay? Hold up. Oh my god, we almost got that. It's way too far! There we go, got that one. Where else, where else? Down here? Over there? Miss that. Down here? Uh-huh. Up here? Ah, there we go. Get up here. Getting some lightning. Aha! Ah, by Summer's house? On top of the sawmill? Anywhere else on top of Summer's house, we can't reach that. Way too far. Where to, where to, where to, where to? Up here. Over there. We can't reach it. Here we go. Down here. Ah, missed that. Down here again. Climb up here. On top of this. Ah, hold up, hold up. There we go. Collecting a ton of glims. Very cool. And that seems to be it. Alrighty. And we're back on our way to go see Olga, right? Yep. Okay. I feel like we should go fishing. We haven't fished in a while. Here we go. Now let's see what we catch. Hello, hello, fishes of the sea. Ah, here we go, here we go. No, 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 no. You're not getting loose on our watch. Come to Papa. No, 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 no. Here we go. Nope. Almost. Almost. Nope. And got. Uh, nope. And gotcha. Ooh, we found an eel. Pog. Let's go again. Just waiting. Waiting for our prey to arrive. And there we go. Come to Papa. Up we go. Up we go. Don't struggle. Don't struggle. We'll only cook you and eat your head. Don't struggle. 
Bay Shrimp. We're catching a lot of different fish today. Very Pog. Now, our last fish. Come on. Come on, show up. Aha! Oh, 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 oh. You're feisty. You're very feisty. Ooh. Come, come. You should be a big one. No? Okay, there we go. There we go. No. Don't break the line. Ah! Why is it our line indestructible? Why does it even break? Hey, we got a soul. Cool. We got a ton of souls on our ship now. Haha, <laughs> spirit joke. Surprise, you're giving us berries. There we go. Okay. Thank you for the berries. And we're finally here. Hello? Oh, hello! It's a big ass turtle! She's here! Ah! There we are! I'm happy to see her, Munchkin! She's always been a kind person and we go way back, me and her! But I've got to tell you, last time we saw each other things didn't go well. She might still be holding a grudge against me. It's not my fault if I say things as they are. You don't always make friends by being honest. And you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So canoe under the bridge as they say. Follow my lead. Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Olga! You haven't changed a bit, old friend. Still so green. Astrid. My dear old Astrid. I'm glad to see you. And glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this to this charming young lady here? You are the new spirit fairer, aren't you? Albert was telling everyone that Karen had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? When I think he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Oh well. Wait, Karen borrowed your hairbrush? Do turtles even have hair? Never mind. I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to hold your hand, my little lady. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? Mm -hmm. As you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know, to catch up on things. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know, Irina's still focusing on her studies. And Masha has picked up a new hobby. Knitting. She says it's to keep her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you. But she crafts really nice mitts in the winter. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Mm -hmm. Yes? You won't believe what I heard the other day. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Miss Shrewberry is pregnant. Again. Mm -hmm. What? I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know what? Bob is not the father. Mm -hmm. No. You're kidding me. Incredible! Okay, these two are getting really annoying for the old lady voices I give them. Oh well, she always knew how to lure them boys. And speaking of boys, I heard Giovanni is back. And from a reliable source at that. Gio. Giovanni is back. Who told you that? Where? When? Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you? Interested? Mm -hmm. Yes! Oh uh, wait, no! Uh, no, I don't care what he does. I, I, I don't want to know! He can frolic all he wants! As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check my sources and I'll write back to you. Just in case. Now that you're traveling in good company, I know where to find you. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. But no rush. I'm happy Stella found me, and I want to spend time with her and her crew for now. Mm -hmm. Olga dear, could you show her what you could do? I'm certain your help would be greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. But of course. And on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Yes, a bit like Astrid. But there are some things I can do. My specialty is patience. And spinach puffs, but we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, and rocks in them. And then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface. And when I'm back, the rocks and logs you use will become a tree or a mining rock. Isn't that nice? 
I can't tell you what my secret is, but you have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? Alright, hop on my back, little lady. Oh! She's kind of like a weird garden, and we can't jump on her head. Okay. We could place stuff here. What do we need? Slate. Slate seems super rare, so let's just plant those. Wait, how many can we plant? Just one? There we go. What else? Quartz? We need to find dragons for that. We'll put more slate. Okay. And more slate over here. You're a slate bitch now! Anything behind you? No. Okay. Ah, we fell! God damn it. Hold up, we need to swim back. Yes, we know. Okay, there we go. We planted those. Are you done? Yep. Wonderful! I'll go back underwater for some time. Do not worry though. I'll reemerge as soon as what you've planted can fully be harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourself and your passengers, Stella. Bye now, see you soon. Well! Okie dokie! We met someone new, and there she goes. Right. Well, Naisu, was that it? Fishing trip. We need fried chicken, we need to visit Mount Toriyama with a triple jump, or I don't know, some way to float up. And we need to talk to Astrid. Okay. What a bus. Wait, are you fucking ringing a bell to call us? She had a lot to say, did she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, this one, but I don't judge. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but her eyes are a bit... scary. Soothing and kind, for sure. But scary. I think she should talk to someone about this. But enough about her! Thanks a lot for having brought me to her, Munchkin. It's really appreciated. There's always so much going on, and I can't get enough of it. Also, what she said about that Giovanni character. Well... Hmm, you know what? Mm -hmm. Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. I don't want to bore you with this now. Mm -hmm. See you later, Stella. New request, bars of gold. What the fuck? What? Huh? Talk to Astrid, bars of gold. What are you... Wait, huh? Bars of gold? Would you look at that? <laughs> That's what I call a foundry. <laughs> Do you feel that heat, Munchkin? Do you smell those fragrances of molten metals and heavy machinery? This is where magic happens! Mm -hmm. We are going to make some beautiful things in there! Let's go inside so I can explain how it works! But I already know how it works! What? You're gonna teach us? We already know how to use this! What a machine! Mm -hmm. Oh my! <laughs> Stella, this is a first-class foundry you've got here! Even I myself couldn't have done better! Simply stunning! Let me run you through the basics! This is a complex machine and you have to be careful around it. First, you have to load the ore inside the furnace. Then you have to throw the coal in the burner to power it. The machine will reach its working temperature. Then whatever ore you've deposited in the furnace will be smelted into ingots. The bellows on each side of the furnace will make the heat go up. Each metal will behave differently, but once the right temperature is reached, the fusion starts. You'll have to make sure that the temperature remains at the right level. Below it, the process simply stops, and above it, well, you don't want to see what happens, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. And that's it, I've told you what you needed to know! Have at it! Uh, yeah. I guess we're gonna make copper, right? Smelt an ingot in the foundry. Okay, we'll smelt five. Then we put in coal. Is it still full of coal? I think it's still full of coal. Let's start! Here we go! Definitely not gold, but it kind of works. It's copper. It's like two tiers under gold. Well, I don't know, a couple tiers if you play Minecraft. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, 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 no. Don't overheat. Here we go. A bit more. A wee bit more. And that should be the last blow. We got our copper! Thank you! Okay! Talk to Astrid! Astrid, honey! Is it alright that we call you honey? Are you asleep? You're asleep! 
Okay, we'll talk to you in the morning. First of all, can we check our map? No, we cannot check our map. Time to go to sleep. Daffodil, where have you been? You've been invisible this entire time. Or were you just being a cat and fucking off to God knows where? Probably just being a cat. Okie dokie, it's morning, wakey wakey assholes. It's like we got a whole village in here. Well, technically, this is a village. It's a floating village. Full of people and spirits. All with different personalities. Now, where can we go? What? We haven't unlocked anywhere new. Okay. Can we go here? The South Point docks? Can we go through there? There's a line. I don't know if we could go through there. Hmm. Any other places we haven't been to yet? There's a place through here, but we need Spirit Flower in order to get the Ice Ram. There's a new place over here. Okay, we haven't been to Furugawa. Oh, that's the big mountain! Okay, now we know where to go, friendos. Let's just teleport on back, and then for our last stop, let's head over to Furugawa. Ah, uh, Astrid, you're awake, I see. Great work. You're inside? There you go. Oh, Stella, how I wish the metal workers I've met were as gifted as you are. You're so small and weak, but you dance around the smelter like a veteran forge master. I'm so proud of you. This is a splendid machine, and I'm sure you'll put it to good use. I'll even indulge myself and use it from time to time if you're okay with that. There we go. We made you happy. You want a hug? No, you don't want a hug. Okay, fine. We're heading to Alex the Seal, so we can teleport back and then see Furugawa. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. I hear Alex. We got ourselves some tea leaves. Okay, Alex, bring us back. Now, where do we go? We go way. We haven't unlocked this bus stop. Can we go there? Oh, we can! It's a bus stop we haven't passed by yet, but apparently we could also go there. Okay. Uh, it's another eclipse. I have no idea what any of these eclipses mean, though. Hmm. Anyway. Over to Furugawa we go. Now, let's see if our garden could use some tending. We water these leeks. Actually, we could just sing to this. Wanna sing? I wanna sing! The faster we could get the leeks, the faster we could get an upgrade for- Ah, it's grown! There we go! The faster we could get more upgrades for Stella's house. Pull you out, and then pull you out. There we go. What do we plant this time? Do we have any seeds? We have one lettuce seed. We can go buy some seeds from Furugawa. And it looks like we're here. Hold up. Oh! Oh, wait a minute, show us a big mountain! There we go! Is that really the big mountain we saw in the distance? I'd like to think that is, because holy shit, we've been looking for it all this time. Let's just improve Summer's house. There we go. Now you have a cheese plant inside your house. Okay. Now let's see what this village is about. Ooh, look at this. Oh. Fancy! Hi, hello! Ooh, that's a lot of oak! And are those rice terraces? Very fancy! Can we go inside? Hello? Anything upstairs? There's an owl statue up front! Very nice! But for now, we should go look for the shrine! Shrine! Give us a new upgrade! Oh! Uh... Is that a new passenger? Hold up, you're a new passenger! Oh, what impeccable timing. I'm in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. 
Listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional woodprints. They date from the Ushiro period and as such are very invaluable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. I am certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it recently is in the possession of a local shopkeeper, Theodore. THEODORE! But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Tanuki. Whatever he is. But with your help? Yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude. Well, I'm sure you can schmooze your way into acquiring the last piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper, I can't wait. Five views of Mount Furugawa. Okay, where's fucking Theodore? Theodore, are you trying to scam people again? Can we go inside here? What's over here? I have no idea what's in here. Nothing? Just an empty house? Okay. Theodore! Theodore! Where is that fucking raccoon? Ah, there he is. Okay. Theodore, we need to talk. Buy, sell, talk. Well, hello there, customer. Is our catalog not to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized items? Oh, a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. It sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then suddenly everyone was looking for it. At first, it was this very pedantic person. Very rude. And worse, they're haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print, gave them some junk instead. And then later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, and she offered me some serious coin for it. That lady, let me tell you, she was loaded. Anyway, that's all to know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. Uh-huh. What? Fuck you, Theodore. How do we get it? Report back to the art collector. Hold up. There's an old ball place right here. Hello, hello. Ooh. Oh, we can afford it. Yes, while in the air, hold space to glide. There we go. This was the ability that we needed. And it's a good thing we had the right amount of obols for it. And now the ability to glide. Naisu. Okay. Hold up, hold up. Oh. Oh! We're going up and up and up and up and we're gonna die. No, we're not gonna die. <gasps> Hello there! I never want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Here's my key. If the door stays jammed, you just have to give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. I want to enjoy this view forever. Okay! Hold up. Oh. Oh, okay, that's how we glide. There we go. Now this is falling with style. Naisu. Uh, Mr. Art Collector? Theodore wants to start a bidding war. What do you think? Ah, you're back. Did you manage to find the missing print? No, it was already sold. But how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? Uh -huh. Of course. Of course it was her. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, egotistic, patronizing charlatan! She calls herself the collector, if you can believe it. She doesn't even collect anything! Oh, I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me! I should have never told her about my collection! That ugly-ass sack face! Well, I'm not one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is hiding. In hiding from you! I don't specifically know why, but the news of the new spirit fair made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting! Yes, yes, you're the spirit fair. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates, 15150. Pay her a visit, won't you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. This, oh, don't worry, it's just some junk Theodore gave me. Okay, a ceramic figurine. Well then, 
We actually progressed. We have the ability that we need to glide. We missed that glide. And now we have places to go, like catching some sheep. But we'll save that for the next episode. Let's just get back onto the boat and then we can peace out. Anyway, friendos, that's where we'll end this episode of Spirit Fair. We picked up a new passenger in Astrid, we met Olga, and now we have the ability to glide to fall with style. If you friendos enjoyed this episode, leave your comments down below, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to always stay up to date with our videos. Until our next episode, my name is Nez, and thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye, friendos.